Hey, Brandon, welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another episode of the 2024 Rookie Spotlight Series. We are in the 2024 draft cycle very early, but I'm putting these Spotlight Series videos out here to give you guys an early look at some players that you could be drafting in your rookie drafts next year. And I want to talk about a player today, senior Ole Miss wide receiver Trey Harris. All right, so... I, you know, he's a, he's going to be a deeper prospect. All right. So, and this is part of the spotlight series I like to do, I like to show, cause we know all the guys at the top, the neighbors, Keon Coleman's Odunze and all those players. But, you know, let's take, start taking a look a little bit at some deeper guys and get an early glimpse of some players. And each and every week, I'm going to put a video out like this. Sometimes are the guys that we really know. And then sometimes players like today that we're going to talk about guys who are emerging that could be, uh, you know, later draft picks that could be on our dynasty roster. So you play dynasty, you play fantasy and you you are looking for a YouTube channel out there to get an early glimpse of future NFL classes, man, hit that subscribe button. That is what this channel is all about. So yeah, we want to talk about Trey Harris, man. He is an old Miss uh, wide receiver. Like I said, 6'2", 205 pounds, good size. Um, he's a senior, right? So three years he played at Louisiana Tech. Um, and the first year was COVID year. That's kind of thrown out the window. Two years after that, you know, 21, 22, productive seasons at Louisiana Tech. Um, and then he transfers to the SEC and plays with the big boys and goes to Ole Miss. I love looking at players who come from other smaller schools who come to the SEC to play. And when they're productive, that is uh, something that kind of is a... Um, you know, something I look for. And Trey Harris has been killing it, man. So let's look at the stats here on the season so far. This is through week 11 of college football. Has 40 receptions for 761 yards, um, averaging 19 yards a, ca a catch. So he is a vertical threat with seven touchdowns. You can see his offensive grades here. These are grades from PFF, his offensive and receiving grades. All right. So he plays, uh, you know, primarily out wide. So he's going to be a boundary receiver. Really lines up in the Z position a lot when you're going to watch the film. And the reason I, I chose I chose Trey Harris this week is uh, he had his game, I think it was two weeks ago, against Texas A&M. Wanted to put this out last week, didn't get to it. But still, I'm going to link the Texas A&M game here where he went 11 receptions, 213 yards, and one TD. We know the NFL likes Ole Miss wide receivers, right? Jonathan Mingo last year, he went, I'm hoping Trey Harris has a little better success than Jonathan Mingo. Uh, Jonathan Mingo last year was in, uh, like a, a late run riser in the draft capital uh, kind of game as we were, you know, probably in February, March last year, he started to emerge as a, as a, as a real, uh, you know, riser in the wide receiver ranks. I could see maybe Trey Harris kind of taking the same path. All right. So this is the, these films that I put out here are kind of, like I said, we're going to do a little scouting report and then I'm going to flip on and give you at the end, a link to his Texas A&M game, which I highly recommend, you know, that you take a look at. All right. So what, are, what is it about Trey Harris? So, so the scouting report, the things that I kind of noticed on film, the things that stand out to me, I look for translatable traits, right? Um, no prospect is perfect, but what do you see on film that you think could make them hit our dynasty rosters, right? So, um, you know, he is a size speed combo, man. It's six foot two, 205 pounds. He's a three level threat. He catches the ball vertical a lot. As we mentioned, he's got that 19 yards per catch average. The guy you're going to see on the film here, at Texas A&M, the guy can get downfield, um, and, you know, so he is a vertical threat and he also wins, you know, intermediate and short around the line of scrimmage too. And I like that versatility um, that players have. They're just not, you know, in a box where they're short guys, you know, short area, you know, guys or, or, or vertical guys, they can kind of play both. And watching film, I've watched three or four games of Trey Harris. In fact, I think I have another film on this YouTube channel, um, not the Texas A&M game, AIM game, but another one as well for you to take a look at. Um, I like the thing that stood out to me is he kind of wins the one-on-one -on -one matchups. And what do I mean by that? Well, I think he can win one-on-one -on -one matchups at the line of scrimmage, and he can also win those one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, downfield vertical. There's a, there's actually a catch that is pretty amazing on the film that you're going to, I'm going to link here very shortly uh, for you to take a look at a one-handed grab on the sideline, which lends me to the next trait that I kind of see that I like about him is he's got his good length. He's got good, strong hands. Um, and I think I, you watch the film, I like how he approaches the ball, the body control at the catch point, and goes up and gets the ball. So um, just an overall, I think, solid overall wide receiver, all right? And starting this on this film, I'm going to kind of start putting some 
some some comps out there a little bit. And, uh, you know, George Pickens is a player. I don't think he's going to get the draft capital of George Pickens, but I could see him getting on a team like George Pickens is on the Steelers as a wide receiver, two or three on a team. Now, there's a lot of people that think George Pickens is going to be the wide receiver one on the Steelers, and he might be, but right now he is not, and I'm not sure he's ever going to get to that level. But when you watch Trey Harris, kind of like, um, you know, George Pickens, physicality, um, the, the, the boundary awareness, the, the, the ability to catch the ball, uh, you know, deep and vertical when those, those contested catch things. And that's George Pickens, games too. I think Trey Harris is a decent route runner. I think he's got some, some space creation kind of like George Pickens. That's probably not his bread and butter. Like the, the ability to, you know, twist a defender up and, and, and create space for himself. He's more of a, you know, get, throw the ball up and let George go get it. Trey Harris kind of similar traits when you watch his film. But overall, I'd like Trey Harris. I think he could be a, you know, a day three pick, all right? So what you're looking at right now here is uh, his, uh, basically his average draft position on NFL draft, mockdraftdatabase.com. That's always a tongue twister for me. Um, and uh, so you can see here, he is like projected to the fifth or sixth round, you know, down in the 209 area, Okay. I've been seeing him rise a little bit. This guy is going to be a day three pick. He's not going to be a day two pick. But Puka Nakua, I'm not going to say he's Puka Nakua. I'm just saying there are diamonds in the rough on the day three. And on this channel, I want to showcase some of these guys that are deeper players, not just, you know, I'm going to have the neighbors films out. I'm going to have, like I said, you know, the, the Xavier Worthies and the Lab McConkie, who I just put out a film just like this on Lab McConkie. who's like one of my favorites uh, in the wide receiver class of 2024. But I think, you know, he's going to be a day three pick and you just never know. Landing spots and situations matter in fantasy. I'm a true believer of that. And if he finds himself getting, you know, round four or five draft capital um, and lands himself on a team that gives him an opportunity, you know, he could have maybe even like a a Trey Palmer kind of uh, year one that we're seeing Trey Palmer have, who was again a day three pick who's been given an opportunity in Tampa Bay. I could see maybe Trey Harris following in his footsteps as well. So in his rookie, in our rookie drafts, man, next year, he's going to be probably a round three or four guy but it depends we're early in the process okay like i said i love players who go from smaller programs to the sec schools and ball out and he's having a really good season so keep your eyes on trey harris man okay here i'm going to link the film right here up to uh his texas a&m game take a look at it um scout him for yourself and uh put his name uh kind of uh, in the back of your mind when you got your rookie drafts next year thanks for watching